She's a gorgeous cover girl, a singer and rapper, Oscar-nominated actress, and a glamorous talk show host. And when she visited our CBI program, the word spread like wildfire. She walked in like she was greeting good friends, and we had a million questions. As a female in a male-dominated industry, what were some of the obstacles that you faced, and how did you overcome them? One, they thought, can females do it? Can females rap? Um, I always felt like we could, even though I grew up in a whole crew of guys. But that's kind of where my training ground was. What advice would you give me who wants to be a successful woman like yourself? It's really about perseverance. It's about staying strong and persevering when things aren't going so well, when things don't seem so bright. You have to stick to it. She was a great sport. We gave her our school t-shirt and she wore it the rest of the day. Then she had a few questions for me. You're the first person in your family that's going to college? Yes, I am, and I'm the third child in my family. How does that feel? Nerve-wracking, but mm -hmm. I also feel proud. Yeah. You know, I, I don't have money, and mm -hmm. you know, we're, being here at the College Brown office, they don't let that become an issue. They right. motivate you, and they're like, you know, you really can do this. Uh, I didn't graduate from college. I started college. When I decided to leave college, I, had to, I made a deal with my mom. I said, Mom, this music thing is really taking off. My single came out when I was mm -hmm. 17. And mm -hmm. I said, Mom, I really think I want to take a, some time off from school to try this. But I promise you, I'll give it this much time. I'll dedicate it 100%. And if it doesn't work, I'm going back to college. Mm -hmm. Who is your role model? I think my mom is still my role model. She really instilled a lot in me. She gave me a lot of time. We didn't have a lot of money, yeah. but she would like spend a lot of time teaching me things. and. My mom went to college while I was a kid. As I grew older, I realized what the sacrifice that my mother mm. and the dedication that she, she had to go get her degree to become a teacher. Growing up, did you feel like, you know, giving back to the community was a very important thing? Absolutely. My, my parents really raised us to believe that we had to kind of be of, of a, a greater community. We, it wasn't enough for us to be successful individually. I would like to know what advice do you have for me and my friends? So be prepared for people who will tell you you can't do, do it. it. Yeah, I've there's always, always had, there's always that. been people like that. Don't believe them. I know. You hang around people who are, who are giving you positive reinforcement and positive feedback and you give yeah. it to them on their rough days. That's the stuff that can kind of get you through. So you, you keep up with that. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. That you, that you stuck with it. Thank Way you. Way to go. Way to go, girl. <laughs> I have never felt as special as I did with this superstar. I had to show Queen Latifah how I can rap in my musical skills. I grew up in a world that is different, where everything I did, every place I went was innocent. I was raised by an Ecuadorian immigrant. Don't want to be another statistic. I just want to graduate and make my mother proud. And I'm going to do me at the end of the day. And I just want to get a career and say I made it with my friends. Does it get any better than this? The queen cheering me and my classmates to success.